We just issued new regulation in New Jersey yesterday. Hours before he said he was running for president and flew to New Hampshire for a town hall meeting, Governor Christie cited the preventable death of Carol Bound in Berlin Township as a reason to sign an executive order. She applied for a firearm to protect herself. She's supposed to be issued that within 30 days. The local police department did not move on it. It was well past the 30-day deadline. That man violated the protective order, came into her home, and stabbed her to death. The governor's executive order covering buying, owning, and carrying a gun shortens the statutory waiting period from 30 to 14 days, if possible, for victims of violence and those who have a court order against someone and are under imminent threat of violence. That's to be put to the top of the pile without exception. Bounds killer Michael Edel was convicted in 2008 of assaulting another girlfriend with a weapon. He hanged himself days after killing Bound. Berlin police say they were waiting on a fingerprint check to issue a permit to Bound, who, gun advocates say, had mistakenly applied for a firearm identification card instead of a permit to carry on April 21st. She died June 3rd. There should be no waiting period for people that are in fear for their lives or that just want to use a firearm in self-defense. The New Jersey Second Amendment Society says the governor's order calling for a three-member commission to study the state's gun laws is a waste of time when law-abiding citizens are waiting and dying. Her family told me she went to the police department almost every single day telling them this man is going to murder me, I would like to have my firearm, and they still took their time. Domestic violence survivor turned advocate Patrice Lenowitz says it's about protection. Now it's illegal to make threats against somebody, to stalk somebody, to harass somebody. Why was he on the streets? Berlin Township's attorney says the blame belongs to the person who committed the crime and about Bound going to the police station. The attorney says, to our knowledge, not to argue, she did not check on her gun permit at any time after she applied for it. Right now, there's a bill that awaits Governor Christie's signature or veto that would force convicted domestic violence abusers and those under a restraining order to surrender or sell their guns. Senator Loretta Weinberg, who supports the executive order, co-sponsored the bill. I think it is equally, if not more important, to take guns away from abusers so that the victims won't feel it necessary to carry a gun in self-defense. My test is this as a former prosecutor. If a law enhances public safety, I'm willing to consider it. If it's just a press release, I'm not. It was New Hampshire gun advocates who warned Governor Christie two years ago not to sign a ban on the 50 caliber rifle in New Jersey, a ban he sought but ultimately vetoed, saying the bill wasn't what he wanted. What we need to find in this country is real solutions to violent crime. But the governor's 11th hour executive order has observers wondering again about his real motives as he campaigns and stakes so much of his presidential ambition on voters in the first in the nation primary state. Michael Hill, NJTV News.